Welcome back in Hannibal. There were multiple Halloween activities, including trunk or treat and of course the Hannibal police Halloween party. That's right. And WGM's Gianni Peterson is back from all of those spooky activities. And Gianni, we want to know that was there something strange in the neighborhood? And if so, were you afraid of any ghosts you might have seen? So, yeah, I saw quite a few different things. But listen, those ghosts that may have spooked me earlier but we're, and we ended up patching up our differences and becoming good friends. And he told me how grateful he was to participate in today's festivities. Trunk or Treat went down on Main Street today with hundreds of families in attendance, showing off their best costumes. However, right down the road, the police department hosted their annual Halloween party that had food, dancing, and of course, candy. I love how we can, you know, the police department is a big, we're the one that do, puts us together, really. And the community comes together and donates to us. Really, the best part is being able to come out and run it and talk to the law enforcement officers who are in the police department. There's a lot of us here tonight. So it's just really good for the community to come out and see us in a different light. While some were out on the dance floor at the Kuntz Center, others were enjoying the nice weather at Trunk or Treat. It's really nice just because everybody can come down and it is safe and all of the community comes down and helps the kids and passes out free candy. And watching the kids come down and dressing up and coming around and getting, you know, candy from us, so it's cute. At Trunk or Treat, they also provided games, a swing, and many other things for the kids to do. Both events provided many great spooks and laughs today while bringing the community together while doing it. And Raja, watch out. I've heard we've got a ghost flying around here. All right, we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, thank you, Gianni. And by the way, those were two of just many events that took place throughout the tri-states today.